There are many different myopia control measures, so how do you know which one is right for you? In this episode of OcuTalk, optometrist Ying Zhao tells us all about orthokeratology, the lens fitting process, care process, and the long-term goals. Hello, and welcome to OcuTalk. Today, we're going to be having a conversation with optometrist Ying Zhao. Doctor, welcome. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you for the invite. Of course. We're super happy to have you. Uh, to get us started today, will you tell us a little bit about your background and your specialty? Sure. My name is Ying, and I practice in Vancouver, BC. I went to Berkeley for optometry school, but Vancouver is my home. Currently, I'm working at a private practice that specializes in myopia control, and that's my area of interest. So I'm excited to talk about it today. Well, perfect, because we're excited to have you talk about it. Specifically, we wanted to talk about myopia control and how that works with orthokeratology. So can you tell us a little bit more about what OrthoK is and how it works with myopia control? Mm hmm Ortho-K is one of the treatments for myopia control. It is a special hard contact lens that you wear at night, and it will reshape your cornea in a way where when you wake up during the day, your vision is crystal clear, and you'll also have the added benefit of these optical effect that will help slow down the myopia progression. So how is Ortho-K different from other versions of myopia control available? Ortho K is the only hard contact lens that you wear at night to reshape your cornea. The other types of contact lenses used in myopia control are soft contact lenses. So you will wear them during the day and they do not reshape your cornea. So who is an ideal candidate for this type of treatment? There are many criteria to be a good candidate for Ortho K. For example, you don't want your prescription to be too high or too low. And ideally, we want your astigmatism to be minimal, too low. But most importantly, you need to want to wear the ortho -K because this type of lens requires a lot of patience and a lot of care, especially in the beginning. So if you're not motivated to wear them, you're likely not going to have a successful outcome. So... Is there any kind of specific care instructions involved with these lenses? Uh, since you sort of mentioned it might take a little bit of uh, patience and extra work. Mm -hmm. You know, with your regular contact lenses, you just need one bottle of solution, right, to re-wet the contact lenses. But with Ortho-K, you need multiple solutions. For example, you need a special cleaner, a special conditioner, a saline water, hydrogen peroxide solution, a plunger for removal, and artificial tears. So you do need a lot more tools in your toolbox to take care of these lenses. So now how effective is Ortho-K in slowing the progression of myopia, particularly compared to some of the other options available? So Ortho-K is very effective at slowing down myopia progression with the right fit and patient compliance. Um, and because it gives you really good vision during the day, it's especially good for kids who are very active. Like if they were swimmers or rock climbers, um, it's really great for that. So how does the fitting process work? Before we fit you with the Ortho-K, you will need to get a very thorough eye exam. And we'll also take some special measurements of your eyes, such as your corneal topography and your axial length. Once your custom lenses have arrived, you will come in for a special training session where we'll kind of break down all the steps you need to clean and insert, remove the lenses. Once you get that, you can take the lenses home and we'll see you back after one day, one week, one month. And along the way, we might be making adjustments to your lens. But once all the adjustments are made and the lenses are dispensed to you, I usually see my patients back every four to six months. Okay, so once I'm fitted for my lenses and I'm going through the process, 
how long do I wear them for? As in, is this something that will go on in perpetuity for the rest of my life? Or is there um, a finish line? Uh, what does the long-term process look like? Mm -hmm. Because Ortho-K are used for myopia control, you typically will be wearing these lenses until your myopia stabilizes. And that really depends on your data. We look at the axial length and the overall trajectory trajectory of your vision. Um, it could stop as early as 15, but you know some kids, they can wear it well into college until they finish all of their schoolwork. So it really depends on the situation. So is this something, it slows the myopia progression, and then when I'm done with my ortho-K lenses, am I my eyesight's good or then am I moving on to regular daily contact lenses or glasses? What is the end goal? So once you stop wearing the contact lenses, the ortho K, we will do a, what we call a washout process. So we'll stop having you wear it. So your cornea will slowly rebound to its original shape, which means your prescription will also go back to its original form, whatever it may be. And once the cornea has uh, rebounded back to its original shape, you're free to wear any type of contact lenses or glasses you'd like. That's amazing. So given that, what can you tell us a little bit more about some of the unique benefits that Ortho-K offers? Why would patients want to choose this option? Mm -hmm. One is for the convenience, because during the day, you just take off your lenses and you don't need to think about it for the rest of the day. It's really great for kids where, you know, the parents can supervise what they're doing at night and in the morning, and they don't worry about them falling out during the day. But I think the most amazing thing about ortho -K is I really do see a transformation in my patient's personality after they wear them. Um, one of my first patients is, is this eight-year-old boy. He was so shy and so quiet when he first met me. And after I fitted him into the ortho K, he could get back to the sport that he loved and he could see clearly in class again. I really saw his personality just, you know, blossom into this confident boy. So I think ortho K is an amazing option for the right patient. Um, yeah, so that's why I really love ortho K. So is there any uh, patient that wouldn't qualify? Like, are there people that make bad patients for this particular treatment option? Um, so we would look at your data. If your prescription is too high, the astigmatism is too tricky, or, you know, we find that it's just really hard for you to insert and remove the lenses, we might tell you to wear some other option. And that's okay, because we have so many great myopia control options out there now that um, you can always go for another option that will work equally great for your eyes. So I know we talked about some of the benefits, the reasons why we would want to use Ortho-K. Are there any, I don't think side effects is the right word, but like drawbacks, are there anything patients should be aware of, like difficulties that might accompany this particular treatment option? Mm-hmm. I think ortho K, just like any type of contact lenses, it comes with adverse events or complications. Um, so you really need to follow the instructions on how to wear the lenses and seek medical attention when you feel like there's something wrong with your eyes. Because the last thing we want is for you to get an eye infection because of this lens. Um, so yeah, those would be my two um, recommendations. So are they are they similar to wearing regular hard contact lenses like gas permeable lenses? Or are they different in any way? They look like regular gas permeable lenses. The only difference is you sleep in them. So it's kind of nice because you're not blinking and trying to look through these lenses. You're just putting them in and going to sleep. Well, that sounds like the best way to solve a problem right in your sleep. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything else you would like to tell our audience about myopia control and ortho-K? Mm -hmm. 
I think my general advice for myopia management is to start the treatment as soon as possible. Because children who have myopia early, they develop myopia the fastest. So the earlier we treat the myopia, the better outcomes they will have. Um, and there is no best treatment out there. It's really whatever works for the child's lifestyle and their eyes. So yeah, treat earlier and treat better. Well, so that being said, is there anything like any symptoms that parents should be looking for to maybe alert them to bring their, their children in to have them checked? Yeah, the typical symptoms for nearsightedness would be squinting to see things far away, um, rubbing the eyes, um, maybe complaining of headaches. But honestly, what I find in the exam chair is children, they don't know they're having trouble seeing. So really, the best thing is to have them come in for regular eye exams so we can keep an eye for them. Well, doctor, thank you very much for speaking with us today. We really appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. It's my pleasure.